Hello, today I want to talk about components of curves. Curves and surfaces. Here is the pen tool and you can just, I have a graphics tablet, uh, draw this curve. It's totally flat, so everything is uh, in y equals zero. Press F8 and you see the components, quite lots of them. And uh, you can always rebuild a curve if it's too many components for uh, for your taste. With this st simple stroke, we created 38 points which span this curve. It is open. That means um, we don't come back to the to the beginning. And if we want to um, make it closed, it doesn't work because the beginning and the end are just too far away. Uh, let's rebuild this this curve uh, from 38 to well curves rebuild let's reset the settings here and I rebuild them to 10 maybe apply so the curve looks smoother now because it has F8 only 10 points now when I select the points go to this arrow here I select this one here um, this is what I see. If I want to animate the point here, I can do so. Uh, I can uh, go to the first frame, uh, press the key S, then I go to the last frame and press the key S, then the little point is animated. So I can do that. Let me undo this because I want to show you something else now. Um, the components are right here. CVs click to show. It's uh, by default you don't see them because if you have uh, 10,000 CVs in in a scene, uh, this doesn't make sense to show them all at once. So uh, I only se selected one, and that's that one. It has an x value of five, a z uh, y value of zero. If I type in instead of zero four, it goes up by four um, units. Maybe if you watched other tutorials I did, uh, which use expressions, uh, if you type in here equals sign of time with the parentheses, it goes away. It doesn't accept the equation. That means we cannot have a, an oscillating up and down uh, animation here with this single point. <laughs> Well, we can, but not right here. We have to use a, a step in between. And I show you how I do this. Uh, I select every second, for example, because it's fun to watch. OK, and that one. So every second CV is selected. So now I see more components right here. Uh, but I don't need that. And now I go to animation and under ma animation you have the deformers actually we don't want to deform the points we actually cannot deform points because they are infinitely small but we can use something which kind of uh, wraps around them and the lattice is always a good start because the lattice is such a simple object it's this object here it's usually a block but here it's a a flat surface because it has no um, dimension in Y because our um, curve is totally flat. Now I have the lattice here and the lattice has a Y parameter here and if I move the lattice up I move the curve points up. That's quite a remarkable effect let me get, choose a different background color like this. So the lattice is just that box, basically, which deforms the curve. You can keyframe that, of course, and now you can enter a sine function equals four times, because we want to have it four units high and four units down, four times cosine of time. Why not? So we have a swinging motion now. Of course we can render the curve in Arnold now, but uh, we'll create a surface instead. 
and uh, this is an interesting point too. Uh, let's select the curve and we don't want to have the component selection so press F8 again so we se actually selected the whole curve that's the deformed curve now and we'll duplicate it but this time we'll duplicate it with the option box. Edit, duplicate special and the option box. The, to reset the settings it goes like this. We want to not just duplicate the curve in the current state, we want to duplicate the input graph. That means the new curve feels the lattice deformer as well. So we apply this now and I reset the settings and close it. So we have a duplicate of the curve and we can move it over here and you see it changes because it's getting out of the influence of our lattice deformer. Now we can pick both curves and create a loft which is here or under modeling surfaces loft. So this is the curve we have. It's currently gray at the bottom so let's go back to surfaces and reverse the direction. It doesn't really matter and um, so we have this deforming curve and surface. Have a nice day.